Hi, sweetie, Salbena here. Look at this energy of the spring. Do you feel it? Look at this sunshine. Energy is exactly the topic I want to uh, talk about today. Um, do you, how do you go through your day uh, energy-wise? Are you kind of working through your to-do lists and at the end of the day you kind of drop that uh, on the sofa, you know, Netflixing or uh, cancelling appointments because you're too tired to, you know, to see friends or go for a jog? Uh, well, I've certainly been there um, and I have a, one very efficient recipe on how to balance your energy through the day so that you uh, enjoy more of life, be more, be happier and eventually also not end up being burned out. Um, there were times in my life where I didn't like my job and um, I developed survival techniques to go through it because I committed to this job so I wanted also to go, do a good, to produce a good work but I needed some energizers through the day to, to, you know, to make myself happy and continue uh, working on something that was unpleasant. So I would, for example, start the day with an hour of a nice long swim and have a croissant and a coffee and then start working or I would invite um, colleagues for the lunch break take a long lunch break invite colleagues to have a nice walk in the park maybe sit look at the skies talk about stuff that I was really interested in so I don't know about you everyone has different energizers different things that make him happy it's a good practice to uh, have a place where you maintain a list of energizers and see what, what works for you. For some people it could be fixing something at home or cooking a very delicious meal, a healthy meal or you know, just uh, jogging in the park or whatever makes you happy. We are really so different. But the thing is that um, it's not only this this technique is has not only helped me um, be productive and efficient and happy person despite the fact that i was doing a job that i didn't like i also read experts on burnout and and uh, balance in life and work uh, recommend this technique as well so the, here is how you do it you open your agenda for the week or the day and instead of planning first the tasks the to-do list, the things that must, that are expected from you, etc. You first plan the energizer, so those things that really give you energy, that that uh, that put a smile on your on your face, you know. So when you plan those things uh, first, then of course you will have less time for the for the to-do list. But in my experience, says you will be happier, passion, more passionate, more efficient. You will feel right. Uh, and okay, so you'll be you know quicker in the tasks that um, that need to be done. It's um, one thing <laughs> one thing that people complain when I describe uh, this technique to to uh, yeah when I when I coach people about this, um, they say well you know people feel guilty when they prioritize their pleasure. Um, before work so we are used to in this society to say you know that's free time you know going for a massage for a swim um reading a nice book whatever makes you happy it's your free time you first eat the frog <laughs> and then you uh, do the free time stuff so and i would like to challenge that i really think um, it should be more balanced because if you uh, what do you give to? What do you give to an environment, to your friends, to your colleagues? If you are grumpy, unsatisfied, overworked, stressed, I mean, what is this energy that you are giving away? Instead of being uh, chilled, relaxed, passionate, enthusiastic, interested, having time to listen to someone, you know, all these things come if you are acting from a place of I am satisfied, my needs are satisfied. There is abundance of time and uh, let's see what we can do together. So if you act from that space and not from a space of 
Oh, I'm exhausted and tired and I have so many other things to do in my list and uh, I have to cancel this appointment for meeting a friend tonight because I'm exhausted etc etc so don't do that prioritize energizers in your agenda they are not rewards for the finishing of your to-do list they are prerequisite for you giving the best of yourself to the world do you get it take care